Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. So when I last left off, I beat the Ottomans again. But now I have to revoke my guarantee on at least some of these nations because I'm using 8 out of 4 possible diplomatic relations. So that means I'm losing 4 diplomatic points per month. I should lose one of these once I'm done annexing Hungary and it will be done next month. I'm at 99% progress. But I can revoke guarantee on Styria for example. So let's do that. That should be in influence actions. And I can revoke guarantee on Moria. I think I'll keep guaranteeing Serbia for now. There we go. Annexation is done. So I should be at 6 out of 4 now. And I am. So I can revoke this. Which will put me at 5 out of 4. I could also revoke my guarantee on Serbia. But if the Ottomans attack Serbia again. I want to be able to defend them. I don't want them to take all these territories again. This is what happened last time. The Ottomans just declared war on Serbia and took all of this territory again. I don't want that to happen because this is five provinces. So I guess I'm okay losing one diplomatic point per month. It will go down to four out of four once I finish annexing Wallachia. It will be done next year. So that's good. I also need to start annexing Bulgaria sometime soon, but I still need a lot more relations with them. Let's work on that then. My improved relations are at plus 41. Alright then, let's work on it. And then there's also Silesia, but I can't do anything about them right now. I want to vassalize them as well, as in I want to annex them as well. But I can't do it just yet, I need to work on my relations. Anyway, I was thinking about going after Crimea next. They are getting a little bit strong, so I want to weaken them. That shouldn't be too hard. And yeah, they are expanding quite a lot. They have territories all the way down here. That's not good. I think they lost some though. They definitely lost some of these provinces. Are they at war with anyone right now? They are... no, just with these guys. That's just one province. So they are going to conquer this one as well. Military access for Denmark. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to declare war on them next. I don't plan annexing any of these provinces. I'll just get them to release some nations. To weaken them. Make them lose some territories. Culture conversion is done. Oh yeah, I need to convert these two new provinces to Protestant. Yeah. So let's do that. That won't take long. That should be done by the time I annex Wallachia. And I have two missionaries, so that won't take long. Right, so Crimea is going to be my next target. Might as well move my ships over to Bessarabia. I have a large fleet right now and I'm paying quite a lot of gold for its maintenance. Yeah, 18.97 gold per month. That's quite a lot. But I don't plan getting rid of it. Military access for Great Britain? Fine. The Ottomans have a large fleet, so if I go to war with the Ottomans again, I'm going to need the large fleet myself. One more army over here. So even though this is costing me quite a lot of money, I'm not going to disband these ships. I have 17 heavy ships, 45 galleys, actually I have more. Because more ships are incoming. Alright, I'll just wait for my fleet and then declare war on Crimea. I could blockade several provinces at once. That's not a problem. I could wait to finish annexation, but I don't think there's any point. Definitely not. Oh yeah, I can invest in new technology that will unlock some special buildings. I can only have one special building per province. So I need to think about this. Plus 50% local tax modifier. Yeah, that one is no-brainer in my richest provinces. So let's actually have a look right away. Special buildings. Oh, are these not special buildings? Okay, let's have a look. I thought these are special buildings. No, they are. Do I not have enough? Oh, right, they probably require administrative points. That's probably the case. There we go. It does require 10 administrative points. But I think I'll grab that in at least one province. There we go, now I have 11. So let's have a look. What? They are still not available here. That makes no sense. Are there any other requirements? No, there are no requirements, so why can't I build it? Oh, do I need to build all of these? I think so. I'm not sure about that. 
Yeah, I think I need to build everything in production to be able to build this. Hmm. Probably. Yeah, I do. Huh. So I need to think about that. This is my richest province right now, I believe. So if I were to complete the production... Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to lose 30 administrative points for that, but I guess it's worth it. It will give me quite a lot of extra money. Okay, let's do it then. So I'll start building this. I should probably do the same in Danzig. Danzig is my second richest province. Yeah, but I need to wait for some more administrative points. Come on. Give me more. There we go. Alright. I'm pretty much ready to declare war on Wolekia. They are going to have a bad time against me. <laughs> I have 70 ships right now. One of them is a transport, so that makes 69. And I don't need that transport in my fleet. So, let's move. I'm going to block all of these. That should give me some nice war score. So, let's declare war. Everyone's here. My general should be in one of these armies. Probably. Yeah, there he is. Let's declare war then. I don't plan annexing everything. Or, I don't plan annexing anything. They are allied with Timorese. I don't think that's going to be a problem. So, let's go. Oh yeah, I didn't raise my maintenance derp. But it's at 50%, so... Shouldn't be a big problem. They only have 18 ships, and 5 of them are transports. So I'm going to win quite easily. I don't expect any other outcome, really. Let's start annexing all of these. They might have some kind of army, but I don't expect anything amazing. Okay, interesting. Oh, nice! I can get 100 administrative points if I pay. Yeah, I have a lot of money, so let's pay. Not a problem. Right, I was going to cancel another relation? No. Oh yeah, I could revoke guarantee on Serbia, but I think I'll keep it, just in case the Ottomans attack them. But my diplomats should do something useful now. Like improve relations with Silesia, for example. I can always recall him when I need him. Alright, let's split this. Alright, I finished culture conversion in Novgorod. That means I can grab a new mission. Repair relations with Ottomans, how about now? No, I'm not interested in any of these. Conquer Moravia? Not really. I think I'll pass for now. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to repair my relations with the Ottomans, that's for sure. I could wait for these missions to change. They do change from time to time if you don't pick any. So I'll probably... Oh, wait, they are actually attacking me. I almost didn't notice that. That would have been bad, but I won. Even though they had 20 regiments, and I won anyway. Come here. I'm going to try catching them, just to get more war score. Now he changed his mind, okay. I don't think so, buddy. What if I move in here and try to engage him? There we go. He's going to stay there. So I should be able to win that quite easily. Nice, I finished annexing Wolekia. Awesome. Now I'll need to convert these provinces, but my missionaries are still busy. There we go. That was fast. Where is he going now? I can't see. Come on. Where is he retreating? Oh yeah, here, to the southeast. Alright. I could try catching him there, maybe. I'll just leave enough troops here to execute the siege and follow them. The faster I get rid of his army, the better. I can siege more than this. So let's split this in half. Move them here. And same thing again. The more war score I get, the better. I could get them to transfer some trade power to me. That would be awesome. Oh yeah, more ships. Let's move them here then. I have a large fleet right now. And two regiments in here? How did I miss those? I guess I did. 79 ships, wow. 53 galleys. I didn't even know I built that many. And I think I'm constructing more? No, I'm not. That's good. How much am I paying with fleet maintenance at 100? Almost 19 gold per month. So that's quite a lot. I'll stop building more ships for now. Alright, siege all the things. More. I could, like, siege all of their territory right now. Lost 15 army tradition. 
or plus 5% military technology cost. Is that a permanent effect? Oh no, until the death of my current ruler. Huh. Well, I'm not sure if I want to lose army tradition. I have 40 and I would lose 15. That's quite significant. I don't really mind getting extra military technology modifier for a bit because I wasn't planning to get more military technology for now. I was going to spend some points in offensive ideas instead, so let's get that modifier until until my current ruler dies. I don't mind. Conversion is done. I should convert some more probably. Are there any new missions? No, there are not. So let's convert some of these. This one is Hungarian. I need to keep some diplomatic points. Siege is done. Oh yeah, my missionaries are working on this or what? No, they aren't. One of them is done. So let's convert this. Anything else that I need to convert? I don't think so. I can just use culture map mode. That's easier and faster. If I can actually find it. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, this is Russian, so I can convert this. There are actually quite a few provinces that I didn't convert. I need to keep some diplomatic points though. Need to be careful not to spend them all. This one? Yeah, Maramaros. This is Ruthenian. That's only 25 points. And I think that's about it. This one? Alright, I think that's it. I'm down to 12 diplomatic points, which might not be enough to actually sign a good peace deal here. But by the time I'm done sieging all of this, I'll get more diplomatic points, so that's not really a problem. I'm just waiting for all these sieges to finish now. That's pretty much what I'm doing. So let's move and help here. I can siege this one. Yeah, this is going quite fast, actually. 28% war score already. I could probably get 100 if I really wanted to. Yeah, they don't have that much territory, actually. Plus 10%. Tax modifier. Yeah, I think I'll grab extra tax modifier. The more money, the better. Another siege is done. And I see their army right here. Where are they going? I should probably try to engage them. I'm not quite sure what exactly they are doing. They are going to Kaffa, but what for? I have no idea. I guess I'll just follow them. But now they can't go anywhere. So they are cornered. I could get rid of the rebels, but I see no point. Right, let's beat this army. That's their only army from what I can see. Unless you count the fleet. <laughs> but their fleet isn't actually doing anything useful. Well, that was easy. Wow, that's a lot of war score. 6.43, seriously? Bigger army. I'll grab extra base tax. So, siege this. This is going to be a very one-sided war. It already is. Convention successful. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the rebels. I see no point to waste my troops. Unless they actively attack me or something like that. Another siege is done. Peace offer from Crimea. Not interested. We can have a peace deal when I get more war score. Another conversion is almost done. How's my gold right now? Minus 10 gold per month. Yeah, that's not great. That's partially because of my advisor. I have one level 2 advisor, but I'm also paying a lot of money for my army maintenance. Yeah. But that's okay. I can sustain this for a while. I won't be sieging all of their territory, but I'll get some more war score. Just because I can. So let's grab some of these. But yeah, not too many. I don't want to get too greedy. This should be enough. And you go join these guys. No, not here. I want to beat this army. There we go. One war score for beating, what, two regiments? That's kind of impressive. Alright. I'm not interested in your offer. Decline. What's that? Hmm. Oh, that's not good. I have to increase my technology cost for one year. Oh, one year only. I don't mind then. I'll just get the military one then. Because I won't be spending points in that just yet. Oh, that's minus 10%. Well, whatever. 
I'm not spending points in military just yet. Another siege is done. Yeah, this is just a matter of time. So I'll finish a few more sieges and then see what kind of peace deal I can get for this. It's actually going quite fast. Another regiment over here, I could try to beat them. Could get some nice war score from that. That's a lot of sieges. 74% already. I could probably get 100% if I wanted to. 0.48 for beating one regiment. That's a good deal, to say the least. Plus 50 prestige. Yeah, I'll, actually no, I don't need plus 50 prestige. I'll take the gold. I'm at 100 prestige right now. 80% what? Rebellion? I don't have time for any rebellions. There we go, this siege is done, so I'll just bring this army over. This is going quite fast. I guess they don't have a lot of fortifications. That's why my progress is going so fast. Oh yeah, one of my missionaries is free. So one more province to convert. I got 116 diplomatic points now, so that should be enough to sign a nice deal. Meet the rebels. That won't give me any war score, but whatever. I can follow them. 42% here. <coughs> Go help. 100 should be done soon. 84%. They are still not dead? Let's just follow them, because I can. Right, a few more sieges and I'm going to sign a peace deal. I'm definitely going to get them to transfer shade power to me. That's 30% war score. I have more than enough to do that. I could almost just annex everything. <laughs> well, probably not. They are too big for full annexation, and that would give me insane aggressive expansion penalty. Nice, plus 5% infantry combat ability, also, for 5 years. I like events like that. I need more events like that. Another siege is done. So I'm just going to move these troops back into my territory. I'll just finish my existing sieges, I don't plan getting more. That was one of my cores in one of my provinces. Let's convert this to Polish. Actually no, I'll wait for my peace deal first. Almost done with everything, that's the last siege, so I'm going to wait for that one. Lose relations with Sweden, or lose one stability. I think my relations with Sweden are already bad, so I don't mind getting minus 30. They won't like me in this game anymore anyway. So that makes marginal difference really. Let's go back to my territory. Come on, finish these two. I'm just waiting for these last two sieges right now. And then I'm signing a peace deal. I have a spare diplomat right now. There we go. So just one more. This one here. 21%. Should be done soon. I can go help. That won't make a big difference, but whatever. There we go, it's done. So that's 99% war score. <laughs> yeah, they are having a bad time. Alright, let's see then. I'm going to get them to transfer trade power to me and get them to cancel the treaty because why not and release nations. I could get them to release the golden horde. <laughs> I could actually do that. Huh. Return cores, no, revoke cores. I don't think I want to annex any of these provinces unless they have one really rich province somewhere here that I could grab. I should probably check that. Alright, so before I sign a peace deal, let's check these border provinces. Base tax 5, 4, 7. Okay, this one is pretty good. I could actually grab one coastal province here because right now I can only build ships in Bessarabia on this side. Which is kind of annoying, so I could grab Yedistan. Perhaps. That won't cost me a lot. And this is actually an, an estuary which gives me plus 5 local trade power. Well, not me, it gives this province plus 5 local trade power. So I think I'm going to annex this. I'm not getting any overextension anymore because I just finished my core creation. Okay, let's grab Yedistan then. So, let's do this again. That's 16% war score, quite pricey. That's actually the most expensive province that I can possibly annex. But I think it's worth it. I get an extra coastal province, I get a fairly rich province, with plus 5 trade power bonus, it's definitely worth it. 
Okay, so let's grab this one. Then I could get them to release some nations. I'm transferring 30% trade power. Getting them to cancel their treaty with Timorese. Actually, I don't have to do that. So, should I get them to release the Golden Horde? That's 44%. What else? Hmm, okay. Yeah, these territories overlap a little bit. I could get them to release both of these guys. No, that's 111. So, this one or this one? If I get them to release the uh, Astrakhan, they could probably just annex these territories again. That's only three provinces. If I get them to release the Golden Horde, I don't think they will be able to win against the Golden Horde. And it will split their territory into three different parts that are not connected. So I think this is the best way to weaken them. It will weaken them significantly. And I can get some gold on top of that. Like so. And I still have enough war score to do something. So I could get them to cancel the treaty with the Timorids. Okay, now I don't have enough for that. Right. That's unfortunate. Anything else that I can do? Nothing useful. I could get them to release this single province as a nation. But maybe I'll do that. What about this one? No, that's... Actually, maybe this one is better. Yeah, because then I could possibly vassalize them. Even by force. But I'm not sure if it's worth for just one single province. Probably not worth it. Right, I'm a little bit undecided right now. I could always grab one extra province, but I'm not really sure if it's worth it. Oh yeah, this one was fairly rich. But that's 13%. Yeah, I don't have enough war score for that. Alright, hold on. Hmm, maybe I should do something like this. Okay, no, I'm getting them to release Golden Horde. I'm grabbing Yedistan, and since I can't get them to cancel their treaty with Timorese, unless I give up the trade power, but I kind of want to get the trade power. Alternatively, I could do something like this. Get them to cancel their treaty with Timorese and annex Kharkov. That's 85, so that's actually enough. And then I could still get them to release something. Like this? 99, okay. I think that's the best deal. I will have to create a core in here, but that's okay. I'll do it. Alright, let's take a look again. So, I gave up the trade power in exchange for extra province. I'm getting them to release the Golden Horde and these two smaller nations. And... and that's it. Alright, let's do it. I hope this is not a mistake. I will take plus 7.5. Aggressive expansion, but that's not a lot. I should be able to handle that just fine, and I can grab some gold on top of that. All right, let's do it. Peace value 100. Peace offer value 100. So there we go. I spent 66 diplomatic points to do that, but it's fine. I think that was worth it. Now I need to create cores in here. This is a pretty good province. It has seven base tanks, so that's good, and this one is good as well. 104 points to create a core in here. And 146 in there. Not cheap, but again, I think it's worth it. I can start core creation right away. I had enough points to do that. So, this is the current situation. They definitely won't be a threat anymore. I think the Golden Horde is actually stronger than Crimea now. Actually, no, probably not. But they are weakened significantly now. They will not be a threat anymore. The Ottomans are still the biggest threat to me, pretty much. But other than that... It's just the Ottomans and Sweden. So I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.